This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 26th of November. Everybody back off the holiday. We're going to go back to the two-a-day schedule today. Got a little rain event coming in here uh, late tonight, tomorrow morning, but uh, I don't think it amounts to much. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. I think it's safe to say that the uh, Black Friday crowds have thinned out finally. That's the uh, 5 a.m. Monday look at the Walmart in Trustville. There's still people out there, but uh, the big crowds have going away for now. There's the Fayette County Courthouse up in northwest Alabama. They're a little warmer up there because of the clouds that have moved in. And to the south, there's a look at downtown Clanton, where they're colder than Fayette. They're sitting around freezing while Fayette's sitting around 40 uh, early this morning. Here's the water vapor satellite view. Got a zonal flow over the nation. And this morning, uh, it is pretty cold over northeast Alabama. Uh, Gadsden down to 27 you got freezing temperatures down to Montgomery. They've got 32, but you go to Florence and Muscle Shoals, and they've got 42 up there because of clouds that have moved in. And around the nation, really cold up on the Canadian border. It looks like they're below zero over parts of uh, North Dakota and Minnesota this morning. But the upper winds will not allow that air down here after this little rain event. In fact, uh, uh, we could be relatively mild by the time the weekend gets here. Uh, things are quiet around the nation uh, in terms of, uh, you know, severe weather, winter storms, uh, just uh, winter weather advisory for a few counties in Nebraska, uh, freeze warnings over North Florida, South Georgia, and that's about it. We'll check the uh, severe weather outlook today. There is a slight risk for parts of North Louisiana, some of the adjacent states, kind of a marginal threat uh, later this afternoon and this evening. And uh, tomorrow, no severe weather problems here. In fact, uh, the guys at uh, SPC basically suggesting no thunder for the northern half of the state. Any thunder should be confined to South Alabama uh, tomorrow morning. And this is the rain over the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Friday evening, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about a quarter to a half inch. Thought we'd check uh, a couple of the models here. This is the NAM uh, with this event, and it's pretty aggressive. I mean, it's trying to bring in rain amounts of, of like you know, over one inch into parts of northwest Alabama and also down around Mobile Bay. I might believe the Mobile Bay, but I don't believe the uh, northwest Alabama amounts. This is the GFS, and I think it's more realistic. It's got uh, rain amounts of uh, really under a quarter inch for most of the state. The, the better numbers down around uh, Mobile Bay or even down there, it's only about a half inch. And up in north East Alabama, that gray, that's under a tenth of an inch. And again, I think that is uh, on it. I don't think this will be a big rain event. Let's look at uh, modeling. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. And again, the flow is zonal. Some energy off to the west and down below that, uh, uh, some rain breaks out, some thunder maybe over Louisiana and parts of southwest Mississippi. Around here, clouds should increase today. Uh, we'll say a high of about 65 should warm up pretty nicely. All right, this is tomorrow. And again, you can see this wave is not very amplified uh, coming through here. And down below that, there's the surface chart. And the GFS shows the better rains near the Gulf Coast. And up this way, not much at all. And again, that gray is under a tenth of an inch. And it's certainly possible. I, I, I would suggest rain amounts for the northern half of the state, probably a quarter inch or less. I don't think we'll have any thunder up here uh, any thunder should be confined to South Alabama. There's just simply no instability. So this is a relatively minor rain event, which actually is not good because we could use some rain. It's been pretty dry here. The, the month of November has been very quiet so far with uh, active weather systems. Uh, and then this is uh, Wednesday. The day should be cool and dry. Bright, sunny weather with a high uh, probably in the upper 50s. There's Thursday. We'll start the day in the 30s. The high should be in the low 60s. Just a gorgeous day. Those temperatures about where we should be for this time of the year. Friday, same deal. A dry day, mid-60s. Winds start to kick in out of the south, so the Friday morning won't be as cold. And what about the weekend, you ask? A lot of things are happening this weekend. This is uh, Saturday, the 1st of December. The first day of meteorological winter. And you can see there's a little energy here, and down below that, uh, the model is just not printing any rain. The air is pretty dry, and uh, I guess you might consider a slight chance of a shower, but the chance looks so small, I don't think we need to mention that in the forecast. Uh, but it, it will be mild. I mean, look at the thickness values. The high should be in the upper 60s. That'll feel good. And Sunday, the GFS is printing a high of 70. 
And if this is right, the day would be dry. So the weekend for now looking mild and mostly dry. The sky partly sunny both Saturday and Sunday. And that's going to feel pretty good. And we'll go to Monday of next week. Uh, hey, same thing. I probably around 70 and we'll be dry. We'll go out there a few more days. This is December 5th. A pretty impressive trough coming in, and that's suggesting maybe a little batch of showers with a cold front. And following that, the weather would turn uh, uh, noticeably colder. And on the 11th of December, that would be cold and dry. And again, the good news, no sign of any severe weather problems here for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.